our next step will be add the uh, mutation we created in previous section to our um, actual app. So we go to, to the input component, which stands for this component over here. And inside, first of all, we will import JQL from GraphQL tag. Let's define a to do mutation by copy pasting the same mutation we had here in graphical. So let's just copy paste that and add, add it here. So our to do input is a form and whenever it's submitted, it's supposed to call a mutation here. But before that, let's um, update our to do input state by using react hooks. We will use use state hook and here inside to do input we'll define to do input uh, to do input as well as set to do as use state empty Now let's wrap our component in mutation. For that, I will import mutation from React Apollo and wrap it similar as we did with the query. My mutation that is passed will be add to the mutation and inside. I will have a render prop that will return the whole form that I had here. Now my, my mutation will get as a first argument the, my mutation render prop as first argument will get add to do and as a second will get the data that that was returned from the from the mutation now what i want to do is to call add to do whenever i submit the form and pass variables to do will be to do input and is public. Let's check that it's working. Let's reload that. And the test was added. What we still need to do is to reset our input. For that, we need to um, add a completed prop and call reset input. Let's define this function. Reset input will be a function that set, sets to do input to empty and it has to focus my input back. So for that I will need two additional steps. I will need to add input here 
and I will also need to add a ref here. My n will be, I will assign it to input. So far, so good. Let's see if it's working. Okay, so I see that uh, this input field is focused, but I, I cannot see this one is reloaded. So whenever uh, new to do is added, whenever I reload the app, it seems that it works, but I still don't see any reload here. The reason for that be um, is because I need to update the cache. And for that, I need to specify an update function over here. Let's, let's call it update cache. And I will create it here update cache function will be a function that will receive a cache and a new data. Now, what it will do, it will check if to do is public. I don't actually need to update the cache because I, I won't see it in the private to-do list. So I won't do anything. But if I, uh, it's, it's not public, then I need to bring existing to-dos. And to bring them, I can bring them from from the cache by right? reading query from the cache I have a query get my to do's here now my new to do will be data insert to do's returning zero. This will be the new to do. Remember the same structure that I um, ask from, for, um, that I specify in GraphQL query on mutation, the same structure will be returned. So that's why I have data dot insert to do's. Now what I need to do here is to write my query to the cache, specify query get my to do's and the new data with to do's new to do and existing to do's now what i need in addition to that i need to bring get my to do's from somewhere I will bring my to do's from to do private list, right? So to do private list is the one that we defined, uh, get my to do's. So I need to export that. And now I can import that and update the cache. Now it's supposed to work. Okay, let's add test three and our cache is updated and we see our new to do is added.